Hey guys, we are out here on the main campus of Fudan University, um, one of our sister schools. I'm Landon Green, sports director for Okali TV, um, and we're actually getting a chance to see the uh, main campus today. So we actually showed you the journalism school. So we're going to show you a little bit of the main campus today and kind of take you around. Uh, we actually got a, uh, a tour uh, a, few, a few days ago. Um, we got a chance to kind of go around and uh, view a little bit. Uh, see their student union uh, it's on the other side of campus so we probably won't see it today um, but maybe when we get back we can do a uh, real quick update with all the students uh, in the studio and show you a few of the postcards I know one of the postcards actually has uh, their student union on it so but this is the main campus uh, lots of vegetation uh, different kinds of trees um, and flowers um, it's a very beautiful campus um, similar to what I would assume um, a lot of coastal schools um, look like. Um, but yeah, so this is their uh, main campus, a um, little bit of it. I'm actually going to probably take a ride up here so that we can show you the full scale of the uh, Fudan University main campus building. Um, it's very large, uh, very tall. You can actually see it from right here. I'll show you here in a second. There's a garden. Um, and so there it is, kind of poking up over the top of those trees. Um, but no, this is this is a very nice campus. Um, we really appreciate um, Dean Lee of the Journalism School and uh, Food and University for housing us and allowing us to come in and uh, see some of the stuff that they do around here. And uh, it's it's been amazing. It's been an uh, amazing opportunity. Um, and. Uh, you know, if any of you guys ever want a chance to, to come to these type of events, come to these type of, uh, you know, these study abroads or anything, I mean, hopefully they'll, they'll start a program where we can come back uh, to Shanghai and see a little bit more because um, this has been an outstanding trip and uh, I've enjoyed every second of it. Um, with me, I have Jacob Jackson. He's doing his vlog today. He's actually doing... Um, He's actually doing a vlog um, of all of our of all of our days. Um, he's put it together. We actually showed a video. Um, when did we show it? Monday. Yeah. Yeah. So we showed a video on Monday um, of what we've done here uh, to the students of one of the classes that we've taken, one of the lectures that we've taken, um, and they really enjoyed it. They seemed to really uh, take a liking to us, and uh, you know, they they ask a lot of questions and. We ask them a lot of questions. It's a great give and take, and uh, we're able to kind of learn more, a little bit more about their culture. If you look over here, there's a basketball court. So, you know, basketball is going to really help me with my project about basketball in China. Um, we've seen a lot of shoe stores over here that haven't really made it into the mainstream uh, U.S. market yet. Um, but I think within a few years, we'll probably see uh, shoe companies or sportswear companies uh, like Anta and Li Ning. Uh, really taking, uh, <clears throat> uh, leaning, taking, you know, more prominence in America with du uh, people like Dwayne Wade and Clay Thompson uh, signing on uh, to be their their spokespeople. So we, we'll probably see a few of those uh, shoe stores here in America uh, here before long, and I'm sure that they're in major cities like uh, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Um, they're probably in Houston. I bet that they have a pretty huge following in Houston beings that um, Houston has a pretty large um, Asian American uh, fan base but here whoa, almost broke my ankle there got to watch your step when you're walking around here these some of these stones are a little uneven so but here are some of the flowers and then as we look up there it is that is the main campus of Fudan University um, very beautiful place um, the people have been great we actually uh, got to witness the master's graduation uh, last week, um, or sorry, the undergraduate graduation last week, and the master's graduation um, is in a couple of weeks. So uh, we got to meet a few people uh, from Italy. Um, where else? France. Italy, France. France. Uh, uh, Austria, Ukraine, and uh, Serbia, I believe. Um, and they're all here for their master's program. Um, and a lot of them were defending their dissertation within either this week or within the next week. So uh, we've been able to see sort of a program being set up through other universities um, that allow them to come here, study 
uh, with the journalism school and then kind of uh, put together their own master's thesis uh, or their doctoral program allows them to come here and uh, defend their dissertation here in, at Fudan University, which is outstanding. Uh, it's definitely a program that we obviously want to uh, take advantage of and uh, be a part of. So, um, you know, that's something that we'll probably see in the future. So, like I say, if, if any of the students that watch this, if any of the parents that have students coming uh, that watch this, this is a great opportunity for uh, ch your children to learn a little bit more about a uh, different culture that not a lot of people know a whole lot about. Um, and so we've been able to, to really take advantage of um, the opportunity uh, that we were given. So, um, but no, there it is. Uh, like I say, this is a very beautiful campus. Um, this has been an outstanding opportunity for us to uh, just come out and, and learn a little bit more about journalism um, in a country that, like I say, there's not a lot, whole lot of uh, publicity for and not a whole lot of exposure um, in the Western world. But that is it, guys. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the uh, of the main campus of Fudan University after showing you the J School. Um, thank you so much. Uh, we'd like to thank Craig Freeman, uh, Professor Craig Freeman, for allowing us to come here um, and see uh, Fudan University. Um, Dr. Randy Kluver for um, allowing or giving us just a little bit of uh, the culture that uh, we got to see um, today and kind of. Giving, getting us ready for, uh, you know, coming here and seeing Fudan University in China. Uh, we'd also like to thank uh, the Coolies, uh, Doctors Asia and Sky Cooley, um, and their professors as well. Um, we'd like to thank them for, for basically putting this whole trip together, budgeting everything. Um, they put it together for us to see, it, see you know, all this great stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd like to thank Chris Notch back in the studio. Um, it's been wonderful um, getting to go back into uh, Studio 318 from Shanghai, somewhere that I hold near and dear, um, and getting to show uh, people back in Stillwater um, a little bit of what Shanghai and uh, a large city in China has to offer. So without further ado, I think that's going to be it. I'm Landon Green, sports director for Okali TV, and I hope you have a great day.